I'm Clev Mesador. I'm representing U.S. Haiti Technology Association at the first Haiti Technology Summit. Very excited to be here. I work in technology. I'm a member of the diaspora. I live in Washington, D.C., but right now I live in New York City. I actually spent seven months in Haiti in 2013 after I left the Obama administration. I came here and spent seven months just to learn more about economic development, and that's when I learned more about Haiti's technology sector. The first thing I would like to say is I think there's a lot of talent in Haiti. There's a lot of technology schools, so we underestimate how much talent is here already within the technology sector. I think the diaspora can play a big role in terms of collaborating and partnering with those on the ground who understand the local playing field and who we can work with to identify innovations and solutions to help grow the sector further than what it is right now. So I'm on the board of the U.S. Haiti Technology Association. It's the pipeline to ATIC, which is a lo local association here in Haiti. And the association is really working to look at policy. What are some of the policies that the Haitian government should have to create a fertile business environment to attract investment here? So how do we grow a sector here that requires the Haitian government to create the right policies, to create the, the right environment for e-commerce, and also to create some capital for entrepreneurs and innovators to be able to grow here, but minimize the risk at all, also so that foreign investors, multinational businesses would be attracted to not only operate here, but also to leverage the huge pipeline here. The average age in Haiti is 21 years old, so there's a young, young workforce to be tapped into. I'm 44 years old, so as a member of the diaspora, I'm no longer young. But I will say, as part of this technology summit, Elon Haiti, Group Echo Haiti, played a big role in working with Christine on this. I have been so encouraged. The 20-somethings of Haitian descent, whether they're in the U.S., in Canada, in France, in the Dominican Republic, have been partnering with the 20-somethings here. And they're really, really taking on these issues. It's not just technology. It's energy. It's education. And I'm one of those people who measure success in Haiti in decades, not years. But I do think Haiti's millennials across the world are going to make significant impact.